Yes, guys, how is it going? And welcome back to the adventure. And if you haven't guessed already, we are here. We're at the Giuseppe Miazza Stadium for Inter Milan against Parma. Now, unfortunately, my Inter kit wasn't delivered in time, but I've come sort of in the colours, ready to support Inter tonight. I'm actually going to the Inter game today and an AC game tomorrow, so I'm very, very excited, and hopefully Inter can get the win tonight in the Coppa Italia against Parma. Obviously, the stadium is absolutely unbelievable, but we're going to have a little look around Milan first and explore, so make sure to like and subscribe down below, and let's get exploring and come back here for the match tonight. Well, what a day that we've had in Milan. Hope you enjoyed that little montage and what a building this is. Anyway, it's time to swap this building for the Stadion Giuseppe Miasa and head to Inter versus Parma. Very, very excited. Made it in. Those security checks are ridiculous. You've got to have ID that matches the ticket and the guy is checking it very thoroughly and causing delays outside. So for any Brits that are heading over to here to watch a match, be early. And I'll come to do this. We're literally right next to the old trust. Well, the atmosphere is ripped. Wow, and these lads up here are making a noise with all their flags. Brilliant little one-two, and he 
Just smashed it in the top right. Oh no, I had no chance. One nil to the visitors. Um, it's coming up to run a play, but oh, interesting. Very different to us a minute to go. That's half time at the Giuseppe Miasa Stadium and I'm sorry if I'm butchering that Inter fans, just let me know how to pronounce it, comment in by syllable by syllable, let's work on my phonics with me. Anyway, it is not good, half at Inter, they're trailing 1-0 from a fantastic goal from Juric, it was a brilliant strike that Onana had absolutely no chance, Inter created lots of opportunities, especially with Denzel Dumfries and Lotaro on the right hand side, but they've not been able to finish off, Correa had the best chance but the flag went up anyway and Mkhitaryan probably should have been doing better with an effort that came out to him that he hit wide. Uh, it is cut football, so I'm not sure whether it goes to extra time penalties. They need to try and find out. But I've been the queue for the bathroom for the last 20 minutes, and I think the teams are about to come out. As amazing this stadium is, I can understand that the facilities aren't up to scratch. The stadiums with the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, etc., uh, etc. Et so yeah, I can understand that one. But yeah, hopefully Inter can turn it around. I'd love to see him win. I don't want to see him lose. Well, I'm currently just waiting for Yaz to finish in the bathroom, and this is the view on the box level. We've got access to use the box toilets because the rest of them were too busy. But there's the view. Dumfries has got a goal sign, it's a good cross. Oh, it's over the bar. Good chance for Inter. Mkhitaryan again with a good opportunity. He's got no really intent, but that is a poor ball. Getting yeah. frustrated. Finishing product from Inter Milan. It's been poor tonight, and they need to sort it out. So a win, lose, or draw. These guys are just going to keep singing and keep making atmosphere. They're amazing. Great kick for Inter. Good position. In it comes. It's just another terrible ball in. And I don't know what Lotaro's supposed to do with that. And Jacko. And Jacko. Oh, I'm not fitting him in the Inter fans, but. And Jacko. And Jacko. from into already since Sheffield's come up. That's a better cross. Martinez got the play. It's already better. And it comes. Oh! It's a corner. I don't know what more they want, but they're down there. The cup's over. They've got a corner. Atmosphere's getting off here. Set piece have been poor so far. That's another poor one. Since Seven Checo has come on, has suddenly burst into life. He's still got it. Guys, it is the 70th minute. I kid you not, I've just realised that Jan Luigi Puffon is playing in goal for Parma. How did I not know that? I thought he retired, but it's so great to see him still playing. Unbelievable. I'm so happy now. Well, I'm so happy he's gone back to Parma, where it started for him. I thought he hung up the boots, but man, nothing keeps this guy down. He's an absolute unit. What a goalkeeper. That's a great cross. And Buffon's there. That one is not a great cross. And Buffon's there. Too good, Buffon. Whip that in. That's a good cross. Brilliantly defended before we got to Correa. I've just checked at these extra time and penalties. It might be if we get a penalty shootout, but it's a box score first and they haven't looked like it. Oh! What a chance. Well, Bob, I know they're going close. To a famous win, potentially. So, what is this? Inter. I thought they were supposed to be good. Like, I know they're playing their reserves, they're missing Prozovic, they're missing Perea, they're missing some big players, but Christ, they've been terrible. Oh, yeah. What a fantastic strike from Lotaro. He's been the player that if anything's going to happen, it's going to be him. Yeah. And it's a goal. Barber checking it, but it is a goal. It's 1 1. I mean, I was just slagging off Inter. Every time I talk, he slips over. And it went in. Straight through. Oh, it's a top end. What a strike. And when you need your players, he comes up with the goods. 1 all. Extra time on. I'm down. Lotaro doing it again. And it's there. What a save from Buffon. What a save. 
football fun. That's how good he is, and he's still got it. Magical from Matano, brilliant, gets it across the face of goal. What a save from Buffon. Man, he's just kept Palmer in this. I think that's it. Yep, that is it. Bit of a weird way to end, but we're going to extra time. Well, after a dramatic equaliser from Otavo Martinez, where he planted the ball into the top right corner. We are going to extra time. We're getting our eight euros worth today. Break it for Palmer. In it comes. Oh, it's, oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> Gotta be careful, man. Everything's coming through Martinez again. Trying to be a bit too clever now. Probably would have taken a torch and maybe also covered it. Maybe banged it in the top corner while slipping over. Right, I love him. He's great. And Jekko's playing well too. Great to see him again, if I haven't mentioned already. Martinez having touch. Shots got it away from him with the heavy touch. What a miss. What a miss. Inter have just got the way. With the big hiss. Left off. Oh my god, he should have scored. Chance. Caught with it well, just never on target from there. It's a difficult effort. Will there be a breakthrough in extra time? Not too sure. Definitely, probably not in the first half. The half time in extra time, Palmer had an amazing chance to take the lead. Will they get a better one than that? I don't know. I don't know if you can still play. You definitely can still win. The ultras are still going strong. And we're in 105 minutes. And they were carrying on through half time. They were probably here before the game. My man is crazy. I mean, he's probably not going to have a voice tomorrow, but it's absolutely amazing to be in the experience of. It's a rarely had a kick in the final third in that first half extra time. Can they find a breakthrough in the second, or can anybody? Or are we getting penalties? What a header that is, what a goal. The ball was parried by Buffon, but the power of Francesco Serbi had to get on that header to beat Buffon, to over loop it over his head. What a header that is from the centre half. Brilliant goal, 2-1 to Inter. It's done so well, Lataro. He's still got it. He did so well there. Big boy, Jacko. Well done, Jacko. Well done, Jacko. These ultras have been absolutely fantastic. The only thing that we've missed is a player. Everything else we've had. Just non-stop atmosphere. And I don't know whether they work in England, but it's great to see them abroad. Everyone's jumping up and down. And I love it. Well, this is going to be a massive win for Inter. From the depths of defeat, Lataro Martinez and co got them back into the game. And a brilliant header from the Serbi has looked like it's got them the win. The Ultras have been amazing and got behind their team when it really matters. It looks like Inter are going through to the next round of the Coppa Italia. And that is it. Inter a through by the skin of their team. But they worked hard for it. So there we go then, full time at the Giuseppe Miasa Stadium and it is 2-1 to Inter. They go through to the next round of the Coppa Italia and they had to do it the hard way, coming from 1-0 down with a brilliant goal from Martinez, two minutes from time and an absolutely bullet header from a Serbi to give the International League fans something to celebrate and into the next round of the Cup they go. It's a brilliant atmosphere from start to finish. The San Siro is just iconic. Enough said, what an incredible stadium this is, an incredible experience it is. Oh, so hyped. What a goal from a Serbi though, by the way. And the drummers are still going. Will they ever stop? They're brilliant. Well, I know I've done an awful lot of Inter Cup tonight. I am to here to see them, but the Parma fans have been excellent and have not stopped making the noise themselves.
So there we go, guys. That is the end of today's adventure. I will see you guys tomorrow as we go again for AC Milan versus Torino right here back at the San Siro Stadium. If you are enjoying the videos, make sure to smash the like. Subscribe down below. If you are enjoying adventures, it takes me to places like this. So all your support means a lot. Peace out from the San Siro.